Hello, this is Frontline here. Welcome back to another episode of Mastercraft. And we are over here by the AFK Skeleton Farm. And uh, basically this place, if you haven't seen it already, is a place where we have a uh, spawner right below our feet. Whenever we want to get uh, the max amount of drops we can, we just close these doors. And that makes it so that this area is in complete darkness. It's like both ways is either an entrance way or the storage system right here is the tunnel i created later in the episode we're actually probably gonna have to fix this place because uh the lava on the oh i forgot glass here that's actually probably the reason it started burning because uh the main thing is like uh when building this thing it's like dealing with lava is very annoying and frustrating because i'm building out of wood and oftentimes it just burns the thing down but yeah that would actually explain it i just need to get some more black glass we'll fix this place up but the main reason i'm over here by the afk uh, skeleton farm is first of all i just kind of want to show it off you know you might have not seen the uh, series long enough to have uh, even known that this place existed but once these guys come down here, we can just whack them with uh, whatever tool we have. This one's a mending one, so it's not like it's uh, getting its durability bad or anything. You can just like repair your tools with XP or just get some XP for the road if you really feel like it, you know. And uh, the other thing about uh, being here is that this system right here is similar to what we have at our AFK fish farm. Because you might uh, have recognized it from here. Uh, right here we have a bunch of non-stackable items. It is actually almost identical to the uh, design we have at the fish farm because first it just runs right through here. Right here is a sorting system that gets the bones from the skeletons. Then it loops around the top right here, sorts out the arrows, and anything that's not bows or arrows ends up in these chests that just go looping all the way down into here. And if we want to get rid of the items, we can unlock this hopper. And you can see items are starting to like uh, fall down. And if you listen carefully enough, uh, have to listen while it's dispensing. Yeah, there's a dispenser going on and off again, right back behind there. And it's just dispensing the items into lava. I'm not sure if I can break my way through this, but yeah, it's like this is just what it's doing. It just tries to cycle through the items and apparently it's backed up still having to uh, do stuff maybe oh it's probably because I broke one of these blocks and did a weird update thing but yeah I don't know what I did exactly maybe I broke some redstone I'll, I'll, I'll check this out later but we basically want to create a system just like that over our um, AFK fish farm to be able to get all sorts of different drops and uh, get rid of them as necessary because oftentimes we get saddles and bows and other weird items that we don't want to keep around but that was just kind of a demonstration of a concept that apparently broke and I'm gonna to have to fix now <laughs> I gathered a little bit of glass and a little bit of acacia and yep this place is uh, all right we'll have to check back to see if this thing burns down but for now we're gonna head over to the AFK fish farm Welcome back to the iron farm slash AFK fish farm because if we actually head on up um, Well, it's kind of hard to head on up because we don't have staircases yet But if we go off to the side here where my temporary staircase is we well, can see that I've actually done a little bit of progress in the meantime in between clips here So the main thing I would implement is a hopper line going all the way around these chests and that makes it so that once an item goes up to this item elevator, I also created an item elevator, by the way, if you uh, didn't catch on. So this item elevator, once an item goes into it, it just kind of loops around. This is the same system I had for uh, my XP farm that we were just at. And it just sends the items right up. They'll go this way. I placed them that way so that they would line up into each other. But they'll first go over here. This will be uh, the fishes. This will be the salmon, and this will be the puffer fish. So it'll sort those out into these different uh, bulk storage chests. And then the things that are more rare will go into here. So we're going to have to use up a lot of hoppers to get these all the way down and sort out if it should have the clownfish, the tripwire hooks, the name tags, 
all of these are items that are not the main fish and are stackable. So there's only 11 of them, which is perfect because right here is the center, which means all of these, just five chests on each side, it's centered, it looks nice. I honestly was really satisfied with the fact that there was 11. So once it goes through all of these various items, it goes into this system. I've already explained this all before, but now it's a little bit more visual. So I've already put down a bunch of these items and yeah, we've already caught a lot. There's also hoppers that I, I accidentally placed those at the wrong height originally, so I had to break all of them. But yeah, now we're going to start on the sorting systems that will, first of all, these ones will be the easiest, so we'll implement these. These will first of all sort out these main fishes here. These are the item filters we are going with because uh, basically there's actually a larger version of this that we're going to use over there but that's only when you're stacking these right next to each other. The, this design makes it so that you're able to just have a bunch of fish right here. This hopper is locked whenever, oh, pff, well, <laughs> we're just going to demonstrate this from down here. So whenever an item goes through like these hoppers, it'll just go on through. And the priority is for the uh, item to fall down into the next hopper, but it can only go into this hopper if it's raw fish. So. Whenever it's raw fish, it just goes right in, into our system. Same with salmon, and same with pupfer fish. So, now we gotta get to the next part so that it sorts out all these various items. This is the redstone system I was alluding to in the previous clip. So, right here is the sorting system that is tileable and can work right next to each other. So, the main idea of how this works is that once an item once one of these hoppers fills up to the point where uh, items can just kind of flow through it easier. So just as an example, like once this gets to 41, I don't have enough rotten flesh to fill this up completely, but when it gets up to a certain number, the strength of this signal will go all the way down here. And once it has like a full stack of items, it can only go to over here. It won't uh, mess with the other systems right next to it, which uh, the other system actually had problems with. And that's the reason why this one was designed. So if you want to have a side on view of it, it's right here. It's very, very similar to the other design. It's just that uh, it basically uses three bits of redstone on the top here. And you have to have like uh, an extra item here so that if an item does overflow then the whole entire system doesn't crash and break down and everything just ends up terribly but anyway i'm going to be filling up these chests i'm going to double check that these are in the right order because i'm not sure i think i messed up some of my items but we're going to get to that in just a second here it has been a while since i recorded yet we have made a bunch of progress so first of all all of this is now finished i have a made sure that everything is all sorted so up here no up here we've got uh, the different items going all the way through and uh, yeah it's like apparently we're able to reach it so i was just able to kind of put them in and confirm that it was actually the right item so the main thing that i want to just show off is that trip wire hooks i think this is a chunk border because from my experience it's like i've put in pretty much as many trip wire hooks as we got but whenever they go through this system, they always end up right here unsorted. So unfortunately, one of our items doesn't work, but everything else does, even like the other ones like near the chunk border. So honestly, tripwire hooks, we're going to see those kind of uh, come into these chests. But one thing I've been doing is actually I've been AFK here. So we have a bunch of items. It's all going up. I've taken out all of the uh, good books from all of these chests, and it goes up to here. Hit. I've done a lot of fishing, honestly. This is probably hours worth of AFK. Oh, and right there was actually a uh, Frostwalker book, too. So that's pretty cool. And uh, so I have had all the sorting stuff done and was thinking that I was done with the whole entire system. However, I was completely mistaken because we had to create this thing. And I decided to do off camera because I've already done it. I've already shown it off. Uh, even in this episode. So this is the system that we had over at the uh, skeleton farm and it just automatically dispenses items into here. So whenever we unflick one of these levers, 
then the uh, items will be pulled out of this chest and will come through these hoppers and you can see it's like it's working it di automatically dispenses all items that come through here and it just is a very easy way of dispensing items that are junk like this whole entire tower here honestly I've already searched through this everything right here is junk so honestly I'm probably going to do that with this section and yeah you can see it you can uh, hear the dispenser keep on firing in the background but yeah now we are going to uh, move on from this I mean we're not going to move on from the project but we're going to take a break from this and do a one hour mining session the reason for this is because I'm actually out of I'm not out of andesite, but we have so very little andesite right in this chest, I believe it is. Yeah, right here we have two stacks and almost a half of andesite. We got some polish. We got 43 right here. So we got basically three stacks of andesite, but that is not enough to create these paths. My plan is to have paths with the staircases leading all the way up on both sides just to surround whenever you're looking at these villagers you can be all like hey you know what i want to fish <laughs> and you just run up this path kind of like you're able to uh, run up this path that leads down from the storage for the iron farm up to there so yeah we're going to do that i actually completely forgot about this so let's go talk about this and uh apparently we got a uh, skeleton uh, trap and the horses i was just like done with my uh, afk session up there so i came out there were a bunch of horses. The awesome part about having an AFK fish farm up there is that we can automatically put saddles on them, just because that's one of the items that you can get. But uh, yeah, not too much interesting here. We're going to have to eventually transport them over to our uh, other house. But for now, we're not going to worry about that. We're just going to continue on with an hour-long mining session that I'm going to do right about now. That was an amazing mining session, and honestly, I did not expect to get as many resources as I did there. So basically how that worked is that I mined for an hour, like I said, but with the remaining inventory slots I had, because I had an extra ender chest that I just kind of placed down as I went and filled it up with uh, various stone items and all that. So when I was done with uh, mining all of that kind of stuff, I ended up... Uh, mining andesite to fill up my inventory completely so the andesite we have at the top of here let's open the chest of wonders got lots of andesite we had uh, eight stacks in total and honestly that should be enough if it's not we can get more but in the meantime we were able to get a bunch of resources that we really needed so redstone i mean we didn't really need redstone but now i don't think we'll ever really run out of redstone for uh years <laughs> But yeah, it's like we also got lapis and got only a little bit of coal. And uh, I wasn't really aiming for coal, so that's probably the reason why it's not that much. Emeralds I actually wasn't aiming for, and we were like mining through mountains. So I guess we ran into those. Also ran into some silverfish too, if you saw that. But yeah, diamonds right here. Diamonds are a lot. Over a stack of them, literally in just one mining session. That That's pretty amazing. So... Now we're going to go over to the iron farm and hopefully we'll be able to actually uh, finish up the paths leading upward with all the newfangled andesite we have. So back at the iron farm here I have done a little bit of progress on these staircases 
and by a little bit I mean one fourth because this corner is done you can see that we're able to go up and down pretty much around the whole entire thing I guess this would be an easier way to get to all the places rather than running all the way around but yeah I don't know the main primary purpose of this whole entire thing is just to be able to go up here and get to the fish farm anyway so that that part's pretty much done but it's not actually done on any of the other sides yet so I'm going to have to figure that out and one thing that I really need to figure out is how this thing is actually going to look from underneath because honestly it doesn't look that good from underneath it looks like a giant blob of andesite and I don't know how to fix that exactly like the only thing I can think of maybe add like a little bit more spruce wood underneath to make actually look a little bit less bland because the whole entire color palette here is that we have the andesite and the spruce and those go together really well they go like bread and butter but having only andesite is kind of unbearable and the one other thing is that this pillar here is using a support beam that kind of doesn't make sense anymore now that this andesite thing is here so i'm going to have to figure that out but for now we'll just uh, build all of these the way it is and edit as we go i was halfway through building this guy right here when really I realized that the whole entire thing about this is that it's kind of undermining the point of having this whole entire ring around the outside and I didn't really like that. I was just thinking this whole entire thing about going up here and doing this then what's the point of going around the ring? What's, what's really the point about going around the ring and checking out all the different stuff? This whole entire circle I really like. I like the simplistic design of it and decided that instead of doing what we were going to do before, I think this is the way to go. So the this was actually my original plan, but I was thinking it would cut in too much into the actual build because the problem is you can see right here's the edge before the iron farm was pretty square and it actually came in right about to here but uh, we cut through with this like uh, stair design which I will admit kind of looks a little bit weird but I like it, it looks very funky and it just kind of fits in with being able to uh, go up this way at an angle so we're just going to go with this but unfortunately I don't actually have any time to really uh, build all the other sides so in the next step so we're going to really have to clean up this place and hopefully we'll be able to actually get on to doing the really cool stuff I want to do underwater in this base because this base has just been really a bunch of different projects above land and eventual plans to go down there I don't have my respiration armor on right now so it's kind of hard to see but uh, you can see right down here this is what we uh, did previously with the minecart elevators he heading all the way down and I really want to expand that ocean base I really think that that would be an awesome project to pursue in the future but yeah this place is messy I don't have time to fix it we're gonna to have to fix up these skeleton horses at some point but man dude these things are kind of annoying to deal with <laughs> anyway this has been all from me today and in the next episode we will finish this thing up but uh, until then this has been frontline and i will see you guys later bye